Hello everybody. I'm going to do a little video here about getting mats out of beards. One of the things that can easily happen if we just use a brush is, and if you brush on the top of a beard, it can make the top be nice and smooth and it can make it seem like you've gone through all of everything. But once you have more experience in your hand for the feel of the brush and also hearing, you may be able to start to identify the sound of, oh, there's still a, there's still a mat I haven't gotten to. But the easiest way, and for a beginner, what you want to do is you want to, after you're done brushing, go through with a comb. Because the comb will hang up on anything that the, uh, the slicker brush skipped over. Um, another kind of brush you can use is, this brand is Artero, but you can see the pins are thick, heavy, they're pretty far apart. And you're going to gently use a brush like this and maybe the corner of it a little bit to kind of dig in to where you feel resistance. That's where the mats are. Um, but you know, if you do that a little bit and you're still not making quick pro progress, um, you want to pick up the hair, look inside, see what you're dealing with. And uh, he's got a black coat, so it's a little hard to tell. But there's these mats about halfway down. It looks like maybe he blew some coat and it didn't release fully, and so then it made a mat. So our, our mission today is to try to get these tangles out in a kind and humane way without um, sacrificing too much of the beard, because the beard is such an important part of being a schnauzer. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of dematting product in his coat the one I like to use is Maddox uh, by Artero. There's a lot of different ones that work well. This one's a spray, and there's some that are a little bit um, more like um, a gel or an oil or something like that. It's not actually an oil, but it kind of feels that way in your hand. Um, something like Cowboy Magic, that's another option. Um, now, I'm going to cover his eyes really well so that when I lightly spray, I'm gonna spray away from him first to get an idea of how much spray comes out in one pump. And then I'm gonna lightly mist it on there. I think this has a pretty strong smell, so uh, sometimes the dogs pull back a little bit. That's why I'm careful to aim it at the, the mat, at the hair, not at the nose, not at the eyes. Now I've opened the hair up so I can see mats kind of spreading out like in a star pattern. We're gonna put just a little bit more spray right there. Good boy. Rub it in. And do the same thing on the other side. Most of his issues, easy, easy. Most of his issues are up in the beard, the mustache area, up in the upper part. Like I said, the mustache area, not the beard part, the lower part. Um, this is a little more awkward to hold, but again, I must cover his eyes, so, and I want this hair up so I can spray into it, so I'm going to hold that with my fingers, and now I'm aiming his head away from me and from the spray, so when the spray goes, it'll go past him. There we go. Good. Rub it in. And then there's one little mat I can feel in his actual beard. I'm going to put my hands behind that. I'm kind of pinching the hair and then putting my hand behind the mat and then lightly spraying into that front and back of that mat and then rub it in a little. Give that a moment or so to, to be doing some work. And then we're gonna see what tools we're gonna need to get through this. So now that I've put some of the dematting uh, spray in there. I'm going to go back to the heavy Arturo brush, Arturo brush, and I'm I'm just putting pressure in enough to find the tangle, and then I'm kind of brushing outward. What I want to do is separate the hair into different quadrants, different sections, a little bit at a time, and that'll help me see if I've got a mat like this one that just would be unkind to brush out. If your dog holds, if when you hold the dog's beard and his head, they immediately start struggling, 
then you've probably been brushing the beard too hard and they're a little concerned about that. So to make this an easy situation for this dog, I'm gonna take my thinning shears and going long ways through the mat, I'm gonna put the scissors in and then towards the direction the hair is growing, I'm gonna kind of pull the, the shears through and if I need to, I can make a cut to make that easier. And that breaks the mats up into smaller pieces and the smaller pieces are more likely to be able to brush out. So there, I got that first one. Little by little, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, here's another pretty wide one. So I'm gonna put my thinning shears in gently and I wanna make sure I always, before I close the scissors and I'm doing the face, I wanna make sure I see both tips of the scissors to make sure there's no chance that I'm gonna be cutting anything other than hair. So like at this point, I'm not cutting these scissors because I can't see where the bottom blade is. I have to move it until I see where the bottom blade is. Then I can make a cut or a slice. That's how we keep it safe. But we have to break these thicker mats up into smaller pieces. And, and part of how I do that, I take smaller sections of hair, I brush, I hold in my hand most of it, I brush a little bit at a time, down, then I brush a little bit at a time, back. Okay, here's another couple of big mats down near the lip line. Lift the hair out of the way that's keeping me from being able to see. Now this is a bunch of almost dreadlock little mats right in here. So again, making sure I can see both blades of the, of the scissors. I'm gonna do what I rarely do, which is cut across, but in small sections to break those little dreadlock mats up. A lot of times they come from food, uh, building up in the hair. Pull any out with my fingers that I can. Gener generally work my way through it gently. If your dog's fussing too much, there's a high probability that you're going too fast or you're, go you're pulling too hard. So let the dog's behavior at least give you an idea of, let me give this a try, let me change what I'm doing a little bit and see if I get better results. If you are barely putting any pressure on, you can feel you're not really pulling and the dog is still struggling, well, then you might be in a little bit more of tantrum territory and you might have to work that through separately. But basically, you have confidence in yourself and that you know that you're being kind, you know you're being gentle, you know you're not being rough. And so, they should be able to tolerate that. And if they're not, then you may have to do undo some, some association that they have that's making them averse to the process, or you may just need to introduce it a little bit more or a little bit differently, take breaks to give them treats. Don't let them change the subject on you too much. Now I'm doing the lower, the beard, the chin. He's a little fussier about his chin. So maybe he's had that brushed a little bit more roughly. Um, a little bit at a time. I can use my thinning shears if I need to. I prefer them to straight shears because they don't take out as much hair. Hey, now we're getting a little bit into some tantrum territory because all I was doing was holding his face. So I gave him a little bit of a a heads up that that he was starting to get into territory that I wasn't prepared to go to and he settled down. I didn't wait until it got to be a big problem. Okay, so now I'm going to use the comb, put it through, goes all the way through so I know I got all the tangles out there. Same thing for the chin, it's coming all the way through and then now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Um, but that should give you a pretty good idea of how to go. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and um, stay tuned for the, the next video to help you out.